Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Way to Go. And if you're new here, my name's Helen and I'm on a weight loss journey. In my weight loss journey, I focus on food freedom. That is, I eat whatever I want in moderation. I don't deny and I don't restrict. I believe in finding balance in all things. If I want a slice of pizza, I'm gonna have a slice of pizza or a cookie or a piece of cake or pie or whatever, what have you. But by only having a limited quantity of it, I'm able to manage my weight loss in a way that works for me because I'm not craving it. In my weight loss journey, you're gonna see me talk about what I eat in a day, what I eat in a week, just certain meals like um, meals that I have for breakfast or lunch or supper, as well as food and grocery hauls, weigh-in results, food and meal prep, as well as what goes on in our day-to-day -day lives. Today is weigh-in day. I have a weigh-in day every Friday and I post it on Sundays. I'm also going to be making, I haven't done it yet, but I'm going to be making a three ingredient cookie. I have a sweet tooth and this is going to be satisfying and yet health conscious. So without much further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into this video. So first off, I am going to let you know what my weighing results for this past week are and I have everything written down right here because I don't remember it very well. <laughs> Last week I had a gain, which was, um, I, I gained everything back that I had lost the previous week. I don't know if that was because of not drinking enough water, which for some reason I haven't been drinking as much water as I should be. I guess I've just been so busy and doing stuff and not even thinking about taking water, but I'm, I'm, that's something I need to work on to drink more water. Um, so yeah, I, I think I'm only on my, I'm only on my second glass yet today and here it is, you know, two thirty. So yeah, I, I really, I really need to work on drinking more water. Like I said, last week I gained everything back that I lost the previous week. And this week, I lost everything again. So I am back down to where I was two weeks ago. And that is at 188.8. I lost a total of 68.2 pounds since the beginning of my journey of January of 2021. I'm losing very slow, but I'm very happy with the progress. It doesn't matter if you go slow or if you go fast losing weight, it's still coming off. Um, still on this journey, I'm still on the right path and I'll get there. Hi guys, I'm back and I am gonna make some cookies. And these cookies are very similar to like a banana bread kind of cookie. They only have three ingredients. Those ingredients are some oats, some cooking oats, and I have a bag right here. Some mashed bananas. And I also got some chopped walnuts, and that is almost a half a cup. Now I'm gonna do a little slight variation on these three ingredient cookies. And I'm gonna switch out the walnuts for chocolate chips. This girl loves her chocolate. So I'm gonna try two versions of the same kind of cookie. The oats and the bananas, you can use that as a base and add whatever you think, anything you want to this recipe. And that includes if you wanna put some uh, cinnamon in it or a little bit of vanilla for a little bit more vanilla flavor or some dried cranberries. I mean, the only limit is your imagination. But for me, I'm gonna try some walnuts and some chocolate chips. 
So I'm gonna get ready and we're gonna start cooking. Hair is up, aprons on, hands are washed. Now I'm gonna turn you around and we're gonna start making these cookies. Who's excited? Cause I know I am. Okay, to begin with, I have a bowl, one cup measuring cup. That's for the, the oats. I have two ripe bananas, which I'm gonna mash up in this bowl. There's my chocolate chips and there's my walnuts. And I have a fork for mashing bananas, a spoon for a tablespoon for just scooping up and making the cookies, as well as a spatula for mixing in case I need that, and scissors for opening the bag. I also have my pan is ready. If I didn't have parchment paper or one of those mats, then I would probably spray the pan lightly. So I need to turn on the oven for 350. Make sure there's no other pans in there because... Yes, I leave pans in there sometimes. Okay, and I do have a little, a few little notes. It's just two ripe bananas, mashed, a cup of oats, a quarter of a cup to a half a cup of chocolate chips, or walnuts and I'm going to try both. Mix together, bake at 350 for 12 to 15 minutes. Cool completely on the pan on a wire rack and when it's cool then I can just store them covered in a fridge for up to one week. Okay let's go ahead and get this started and pour in a cup of oats. I don't think it really matters um, what kind of oats, if they're um, rolled or quick cooking or anything like that, but the difference in the oats will define the texture, so use what you like, use what you have. So I have a couple oats now. First things first, I'm going to mash some bananas. So I'm just breaking these bananas up smaller. Throwing them in my bowl. That goes for the compost. And I'm just going to mash them using the back of my fork. This is pretty much the consistency of baby food. You can leave it with a few little chunks in it if you like the texture that way which I might just do that. Okay, now I'm gonna add my oats and mix it all in. So you can add, like I said, if you wanted to add a little bit of vanilla or you can add some cinnamon or whatever. You make it how you like it. I've never tried these before, but there's no flour in it and I think that's awesome. If I really like them, I am going to make these for Christmas. That's the consistency. Okay, I brought another bowl over so I can divide it. Bananas are really, really strong, really strong smelling. There's about half. The riper your bananas are, the sweeter this should taste. From what I read anyway. 
So for this one, I am going to try some walnuts. And I probably don't even need this many. And I probably could have cut them up finer, but we'll see. I'm going to add a few more. I like nuts. You could probably use the other nuts too, like um, almonds or pecans. Like I said, whatever, whatever tickles your fancy. And you could probably put some seeds in it as well. You're the baker, you decide. I did almost use all of the walnuts. Okay, I'm gonna start making some of these. Okay, I'm gonna bring my pan over, set this aside. can't really tell because they're basically the same color but there's quite a bit of walnuts in there so I'm just gonna take a good size tablespoon like a heaping tablespoon and then put that on my parchment paper now when you make these cookies they're not going to spread out or anything so about about the shape and the size that you make these this is what the end product's gonna look like. I'm just gonna flatten them a little bit. The oven's already waiting for me. Did not take long. I think that would be a really nice size. And I'm just gonna make a few more of these, just like that. I think these will probably be chewy, which is good, really nice. So I'm just going to continue with this and then I'll bring it back. I got the cookies with the walnuts in it all done. Now what I'm going to do is do some with chocolate chips. So I'm just going to add the chocolate chips right into the bowl and mix those up. Just give them a gentle stir. Just like that. And now I'm gonna put those on the baking sheet. Same thing as before. I'm just gonna fill up my tablespoon and just going to plop them on there and just kind of pet them out. Shape them with the back of my spoon. One more. Just like so. And I'll continue doing this and bring you back. Okay, I did some with chocolate chips. As you can see, and now I have a little bit of dough left over with the chocolate chips in it. And I decided I'm gonna add some walnuts to this as I have a few left here. So technically, this is a four ingredient one. So I'll just quickly mix it. Just like that. And I'll make a ball with it. And I'm trying to get these balls all the same size. I'll finish this up. Okay, I'm done. And that's what they look like before they go in the oven. So I'm gonna put them in at 350 for 12 to 15 minutes. And I'm gonna check it at 12 minutes. I'm so excited. 
Now we wait, and while I'm waiting, I better clean up. Oh yeah, and set a timer. Guess what that means? That means I could be done. Looks really good. Now shut the oven off. Oh, the smell. Oh my. They set up. They set up so nice. Look, guys. Woo! Look at that. These ones have just walnuts in it. These are just chocolate chips. And these ones over here have walnuts and chocolate chips. Yay! So I'm going to put this sliding around there. It's on the rack. I'm going to bring this over closer so you guys can see. Oh yeah. Yummy. Yummy, 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 yummy. Set this back up here. Oh, it looks so good. I can't wait. I can't wait to try it. it so good. These would taste so good with a cup of tea or a cup of coffee. Sounds like a plan. Oh, yeah. Here's a close up. These ones are just with walnuts. These are just with chocolate chips. And these few over here, these have both walnuts and chocolate chips. No, I did not eat one from here. I just kind of moved it over this way a little bit. No, I didn't try it yet. They look so good. Anyone want to come over and try a cookie with me? Oh my goodness. I'm just checking them for doneness. They set up really nice. I'm just going to let them sit here for a few more minutes and then I'll take them off and put them on the cooling rack so they can, so they can cool completely and then I'll transfer them to a plate. And I'll eat some and then and then I'll put them away in the fridge in a, in a sealed container. So yeah, they, these can store for up to a week in a sealed container in the fridge if they last that long. I have a feeling they won't because yeah, I'm going to share these. I'm not, I don't plan on eating all these by myself. I'm sure you could probably freeze these later. And then pop them out. I think these would be really good for like breakfast cookies. Um, you probably need a few of them because I did make them pretty small and that's the way I wanted it. I just wanted little two bite pieces and yeah like it's, it's still warm but it's like two bites or one bite if you're my husband. So yeah, they're still a little soft on the bottom. So I'm just going to let these cool completely. And these are going to be great with a cup of tea, cup of coffee for breakfast, something to grab and go. And you can put them in your lunches or whatever. Or as we're going to do, we're just going to put them on a plate and eat them. Okay, I'll bring you back when they're cool and I'm ready for a taste test. Stick around. It's ready. The cookies are ready. Here they are. 
There's sun coming in there, so I'm hoping you can see these okay. They smell so good. Fred's gonna try one later, but. Which one to try? I'm gonna try one with everything on it. I hope the light's okay. This one has everything on it, the chocolate chips and the walnuts. Smells really good. I should have put some tea on. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. You really taste the bananas. And the walnuts and the chocolate chips. It tastes just like banana bread to me. Just like banana bread. Oh my heck. These are so good. These are so, so good. They're holding up really well. Oh yeah, these would be great to take in your lunch. Um, just like breakfast cookies. I heard that's a thing. I never heard of breakfast cookies before until recently and I was like, I like whoever thought that idea. That's a really good idea. Mmm. It's so good. Mm. Two thumbs way up. A 10 out of 10. 10, 10 out of 10. Really good. Really, really good. Thank you so much for being with me here today as I told you my weighing results and we made some cookies together. Until next time, friends, please remember to always be kind to you because you matter too. Bye for now.